that if she runs into me, she's gonna kill me on sight, y'all. Not, not beat me up on sight, or it's just on sight. No, she's gonna kill me. Okay, on sight. I didn't respond. So, I got story time for y'all. Disclaimer, please. Please, please, please. Whatever you do, <laughs> do not judge me, okay? Y'all see my progress. Y'all see, you know, not that I'm a completely different person, but, you know, I'm a grown woman now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my grown woman era. A lot of these things that I've done, y'all, I tell y'all all the time, it was in my past. I definitely learned from my mistakes, and I don't usually repeat things that i've done wrong hey i don't do these type of things anymore so please whatever you do do not judge me judge your mama okay now before <laughs> before i actually start getting into the story time i'm about to and it's not no sponsor thing but y'all y'all gotta get with the program okay so this right here that i got my hand already like split it open because i was just gonna take it before i started recording but i was like let me put y'all on. So, if you're a smoker like me, you like weed, you smoke weed. Um, I smoke it for relaxation. This right here is indica. Indica? Is this indica or? Yeah, this is indica. So, um, I'm taking this now. I'm really not doing much today, but I wanted to just, you know, record this story time and i'm about to run some errands so i'm just chilling today basically so i'm gonna take one of these i try not to smoke like inhale smoke anymore i really try my hardest every once in a while i would do it and i think it's just a habit thing but um lately i've been on like the edibles you know like on that way because it do it for me it do it for me i don't smell like smoke my house don't smell like smoke my car not smelling like smoke which it really never did because I don't like the smoke smell, even though I did smoke a lot. <laughs> I don't like the smell. I don't like it in my clothes or nothing. Like nobody has ever said, oh, your house smell like smoke or your car smell like smoke or why are you smelling like smoke? You know, nobody has never said that. And people ask me all the time, how, how you be smoking in your car and your car don't smell like smoke? And I'll be like, because as soon as I finish, I thoroughly clean it and then you have to like stuff like this you got to clean this stuff out clean the ashes out wipe your car down like i literally wipe everything down every day mostly um and spray you know and spray keep the windows down and stuff like that so you got to air your shit out basically um but i'm tired of that so i've been doing these the chocolates this is 10 i think this is 10 oh it's on a bag i didn't bring the bag but i think it's like 10 um 10 grams so yeah i'm about to take this now with y'all and there we go this is dark chocolate mm, it's so good all right so let's get into the story time so a long time ago when dana and i i think 2013 dana and i first started talking okay and we were just dating he had just broke up with his ex and um him and I was, you know, just talking. We were just dating. And uh, it started getting serious. It started getting a little serious at this point. Like, we thinking about being boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. But we wasn't, it, it just wasn't official yet. But I'm only telling y'all this because the situation started because I was working, right? I had this job um downtown and i didn't drive at the time like i didn't get my first car and i bought my first car i didn't get my first car until after i had my second son so in 2015 that's when i got my first car um but prior to that i didn't have no car okay i didn't even have no license dana is actually the one that taught me how to drive so, like, he taught me how to drive using his car. And that's how I learned. And then I took it seriously, went and got my license, whatever. But 
I didn't drive. So when I was going to work, right, there was times, especially it wasn't like the summertime. The summertime wasn't a problem. It was when it was wintertime, it was cold and or like it was raining really bad, right? I had an issue with him not picking me up from work. Now, that's me. That was my childish days, literally like in my 20s or early 20s. Childish as hell. Because I was expecting, the way I felt, I felt like if I'm dating you, you know, you are obligated. You are supposed to pick me up, especially if I don't have no car or no, you're supposed to pick me up. If I hit you up and say, I need a ride, you're supposed to do it, right? That was my mindset. So Dana has always, even in high school, I met him in high school. So Dana and I always knew each other since we were kids, you know, but he uh he always had a car like he'd been driving since he was 14 or 15 yeah about 15 years old he always had a car like he has never not had a car he always had a car so when we were like you know dating and stuff when i was going to work let's just go with this one this one particular situation um i got off from work and it was very very cold um and rainy so i was pissed off that you know i'm talking to this dude and i wanted him to pick me up but he didn't want to come and pick me up um i forgot exactly why he didn't want to come pick me up or he couldn't i'm not gonna say he didn't want to he just couldn't and that was a problem for me i felt like he was supposed to put me first even though he wasn't my boyfriend you know he wasn't my boyfriend at the time but i was just like look you dealing with me you messing with me you need to come pick me up like i don't have no car i'm not gonna keep getting on the bus you know i had that that jacked up mindset right so him and i got into a very very bad argument because he's looking like if i you know if i could pick you up i would but i'm not obligated to do that especially if you know i believe that day he got off work late or something he went home and of course he had to get up again for the next day so it was late when i got off work um, about 11 30 or whatever and you know i was just pressing to him like you know it's dangerous out here woo, 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 woo. but i chose to work at that job you feel me like i chose that location i chose to work at that job nobody is obligated now that i'm grown as hell just know if you that type of person you're wrong it's just the same that goes for men um thinking that women are obligated to clean up after them and do laundry and do all of that just because we're dating or cook them food and stuff just because we're dating. Men are not obligated to give us money. Men are not obligated to, you just shouldn't have that mindset. They're not obligated to do anything for you. A man is gonna do what he wants to do and that's just what it is. Like you can't force a man to do anything. You can't force a woman to do anything at this point. Like it's not even just them, it's us too. Or me per se you can't force me to do anything i'm gonna do what i want to do like if you feel like it's genuine then it's genuine if it's not then it's you know it is what it is don't be my friend don't be around me don't try to date me you know whatever um but yeah that's how my mindset was so we got to a little argument and it went it got so bad that it went to facebook right because to this day, Dana and I didn't do we don't follow each other on social media. He's barely on social media though. Like he's only on one social media platform and he chooses to stay on that one social media platform. Um, but he's not on anything really anymore. But back then, you know, we both was heavily, you know how like you young and you just be posting all your business online. Like every time you get into an argument or you upset, you like anonymously say stuff, right? So he said some wild shit online right not not disrespectful but he was trying to get people's opinions on that topic basically like am i wrong it was something like i don't remember exactly what it said but it was like am i wrong for not pick you know not giving someone a ride um i forgot how he put it but it was something like that am i wrong for not giving somebody a ride because of xyz right so I didn't like the message because even though he didn't tag me he didn't like say my name or anything in the post i knew he was talking about me and then like people were comment under it and like i said at that time my mindset was completely different than what it is now um very immature i was just like upset because i'm like people comment under it 
they don't know who he's talking about, but they going on me for real. Like, whoever it is, you know, they need to, you're not obligated to do that for them. Because he is like something in his status was saying, like, you know, he's single and at the end of the day, you know, he not obligated to do cool, right? So I saw that shit and I was at work. So this is the next day. That argument happened a night when I was, you know, trying to get home from work or whatever and I was just upset because it was raining and all that I was like I'm tired of this it was really just me I was just tired you know like I don't want to catch the bus I'm tired of the bus I don't want to catch the bus so um thank God I just want to thank God real quick for what I do have I'm gonna appreciate what I do have I have a roof over my head I have a car to drive thank you Jesus sorry I had to do that real quick because I came along. I came a long way and I don't have much, but I'm going to be thankful for what I have right now because those nights catching the bus, walking, hiking miles, catching buses, catching lifts, getting in, getting rides from people that I shouldn't be getting rides from, asking for favor, just all types of stuff, y'all. Like it's people, People gonna do what they want to do, and they're not obligated to do anything for you. You gotta get your ass up and do it yourself. So anyway, fast forward. Um, the next day, I went to work, and I saw the status. Why? Right? Because him and I wasn't talking after we had that little argument. We weren't talking to each other. I'm like, I'm like this nigga. Like, okay, because mind you, he's single. I'm single, so it's not like we together. But we was date. You know, we was talking. We was getting close. You feel me? Um, and. I wasn't feeling that, so we weren't talking. So when I saw the status, it rubbed me wrong. The comments rubbed me wrong. So I commented under it and was like, because it really was just a bunch of females, mainly. There were guys commenting under his status, but they wasn't like, it wasn't like bad comments. The comments that the females were saying was like, really bad and even though they didn't know who I was or who he was talking about it just it made me feel some type of way so I commented under it and was like bitches need to mind their business because I know you you know just basically I put my own cell phone blast you feel me I'm so fed up at work bored at work I'm like nah I'm like how you want you you trying to I said something like you should tag me you should have tagged me in this so people know who you talking about um like why you going on Facebook talking like you acting like a female you know I was saying some wild mean stuff wild stuff like that to him underneath the status and I was just like you got bitches commenting under here and don't even know the situation don't even know what's really going on something like that right along those lines i the only thing i remember strongly is the fact that i used the word bitches i was calling every every female that was underneath that status a bitch right <sighs> so it, it just took a turn for the worse now i want y'all have y'all ever seen the tv show beef it's new it's on netflix have y'all ever seen beef watch it if you haven't seen it it's wild right it's just crazy. It's like one little situation turns to a whole big old situation and now they in this crazy situation. You feel me? That's literally what this this story is about to be about. Beef. I think that's what I'm going to title it. <laughs> okay, so I said that maybe like I got off Facebook. You feel me? I'm like, all right, he, he saw. I'm pretty sure he's going to see this comment and everybody else going to see this comment. So my note my thing is going off now at this point i'm working you know i done got busy at work so i really couldn't check my phone but when i did check my phone i had so many notifications right we oh my god it was one girl i'm gonna name her monet i'm gonna name her monet so monet commented back and was like who are you talking to who are you talking about who is bitches you know along those lines like who are you talking about Woo, woo, woo. and i'm like y'all y'all in my business he talking about me but it don't have not like y'all don't even know y'all don't even know the argument because him and i it started off with the whole i feel like you should come pick me up thing but then it like you know other stuff was said you know so i just felt like for him to make the status it was just like you childish for real and then I got mad and I acted childish and responded and said, you know, put my own cell phone blast. Nobody didn't need to know he was talking about me, but whatever. I wanted problems, right? 
So she come like, who you talking to? Well, I say, y'all, I'm talking to whoever is in my business. That's who I'm talking to. So long story short, we was going back and forth, going back and forth. Me and this girl, me and Monet, going back and forth. Then her sister got involved. Um, and she don't, do she, yeah, she need a name. Because she's part of this. She's kind of part of this too. No, she don't need a name. I'm just saying the sister. So the sister, you know, commented as well under it like, Oh, who the you talking to? Why are you talking to my sister like that? Because her and I, like, our thread was so long. Like, this thread was, like, 400, 500 comments. Like, we was going at it underneath his post. Dude, getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it. And I don't know where he was at, but he didn't see it. He didn't see it until maybe, like, two, three hours later. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going back and forth with this girl, going back and forth with the sister. We calling each other all types of names. Whoa. So it dawned on me like, why are you going this hard? I know I said I called them out their names, whatever. But it was like so many other things that were said. It's like, why are you going this hard? Are you dealing with him? Are you messing with him? Like, what's going on? Right. Mind y'all, Dana and I wasn't together. We wasn't together. So um I was single, he was single, but I was talking to other people around this time and so he as I, I i assumed that he was even though he told me he wasn't but like little text here and there i consider that talking to somebody you know not necessarily dating other people but he he socialized with other he was single so he just got a relationship he was single whatever testing the waters whatever cool um that's completely normal that's completely fine um so I'm like asking her like why you going this hard like you must be are you get him you know like what what why are you going this hard because it got to the point where like we was arguing back and forth so much Dana finally saw it he finally saw it and responded and was just like um he responded to me though and that ticked me off even more because he responded to me and was just like stop saying stuff why you keep saying stuff and I'm like why you getting on me why you not saying nothing to them like that comment could have easily all of us could have been tagged in not just me i'm like why are you just tagging me they going back and forth would you you gonna say something to them like i'm like who are these females and he was like he know he know monet you know he knows monet whatever like we were having like side text conversation because i couldn't get on the phone because i'm at work we having side text conversations at the same time going on facebook you know replying and saying stuff on facebook so Yo, it was a mess, right? So I'm at where I'm heated, right? I'm heated. I'm like, at this point, he telling me stop saying stuff. I ain't listening to him because I'm like, no, why are you not saying nothing to them? So I'm still saying stuff to these girls. But at this point, I'm not really sending long messages. I'm being childish and I'm sending like emojis and I'm like, ha ha ha, uh, you mad, you know, stuff like that. Like, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm literally over here making money and I'm, you know, I'm. I'm on that type of time, right? Childish. So she hits me with, and she said this underneath the comment, which was crazy, in all caps, honey. Um, that if she runs into me, she's gonna kill me on sight, y'all. Not, not beat me up on sight, or it's just on sight. No, she's gonna kill me. Okay, on sight. I didn't respond. I didn't say anything after that, right? I'm just now talking to him and I'm just like screenshotting stuff. Like, yeah, um, yeah, y'all must got something going on because she's doing too much. Now, now she's going to kill me when she see me. Okay, like, okay, we'll see. We will see. And then, like, I didn't say anything. So she kept commenting like, oh, you scary. Ooh, her and her sister was saying a little stuff or whatever. So I, I, I responded and I was just like, yeah, if I run into you, I would like to see what you got. You know, I just said something like that. Like, I would I would love to see it. Because at that point, we were just going back and forth about, like, stupid stuff. But, like, once you start threatening me, like, now I'm ready to fight. So, I'm just like, okay, like, if you run into me, cool. I'm like, um, you know, I think I said, you know, I can inbox you my address. Like, you can pull up. Because around this time, I was in full fight mode i was you know i was a mom i had anthony but i still was like you know i'm a, a bitch up or i'm a fight i'm a just wow you know i was still i still had that mindset so 
around this time i hadn't got probably got into a couple of little arguments uh bro like i had fought <laughs> i had fought some people so i'm like i'm with it you feel me but when i'm always like in fight mode i get quiet i don't i ain't about to at this point now i'm not going back and forth with you okay bet you you see me in person keep that same energy right fast forward then and i of course we had our relationship whatever time went on um me asking him about who that was it basically was just monet was just somebody he talked to um they never actually dated or anything but he just know her you know and uh, they went to school together at one point whatever so fast forward this is one particular time where and i mean like at, the, at this point i don't had my child by him and um, my youngest son and all that so years went by maybe that was 2013 so about two and a half years done went by right i'm in a situation now where i had to go to the courthouse a little situation okay so little situation is not important but i went and i'm in the courthouse and i had to meet with this lady there dana came with me and i had to meet with this lady because um i had to get a uh, written approval and give it to social services right um yeah <laughs> so we there we trying to get this letter this approval letter get it stamped and all that i'm sitting i'm in the office it's just us two and the lady and then somebody else comes in y'all you would not believe that it was Monet. I, I couldn't believe it. Out of all people to walk through that door, it was that bitch, right? It was her. So fast forward, she come in and I ain't pay her no mind because I'm filling out forms and stuff like that, but I knew somebody came in, you know. The girl sat down. Um, I kind of looked at Dana for a second and he was kind of making a face, but I didn't know why. He always making faces, y'all. <laughs> but I didn't know why he's making a face. I ignored it, whatever. Like, you know, he just looked like... But I, I ignored him. I'm like, what's wrong with him? Whatever. I'm trying to hurry up and fix so we can get out of there. Because I had other stuff to do that day, you know? And y'all, that day was so bad. Like, our car got... The car got towed. And it was so much going on. But yeah, so... The lady ends up saying... um, She ends up calling Monet's name. And the name sounded so familiar that that's what caught my attention. That's what made me look up. So I look up at her and she walk over to the lady. She sit down. I'm just staring at her and I'm staring because I'm like trying to figure out where I know her from. I'm like, I know this girl. Where do I know her from? But I ain't saying nothing. I'm just staring. Like, I'm like, can't even focus on finishing doing what I'm doing. I'm looking at her, looking at her. She talking to the lady. So when I remembered her name, Mind you, her name not Monet, obviously. But I was like, Monet? And when I said it, I said it out loud. Dana kind of like, you know, touches my leg a little bit. Like, kind of, I'm looking at him like, yeah, that's who that is. Because now I know why he making faces. Now I know why you making faces and why you acting like that. And mind y'all, this is the wrong time, wrong place. But because I was in a situation, I was always in a situation. But I was in a situation that day, literally a horrible situation and i was trying to fix it and so i was stressed i was upset you know all types of stuff like that so i say i might i was gonna say her name Ooh, i said monet she looked and i'm like what's up she could say hey because i i don't know i guess she didn't she knew but she didn't know she like hey and I was like, what's up? I hit her with the what's up. Right? With a, like a like a crazy little smirk on my face. So I think at that point, when I, I ain't gonna say I think. She realizes that she, like who I am because she sees Dana. So she says hi to Dana. She was like, hey. And he didn't say anything back to her. He didn't say anything back to her because he see my face and I'm like, Cause she not she not respond she say hey to me but I, she didn't know who I was you know until she realized and she was like hey tell her hey to him and I'm looking at her I said what's up I get up like, what's up Dana just immediately grabbed me you know he immediately grabbed me. I'm like what's up what's up because I just I had an attitude about something else it had nothing to do with her but 
I just remember it just clicked back in my head like you was talking all that mess. You gonna kill me on sight. You gonna fight me on sight. This is on sight. This never happens. This never happens. Name a time where you was beefing with somebody and it could be back in the day when you was young and dumb. You was beefing with somebody and they say it's on sight. And that's why I do not use that on sight mess because you don't know where you gonna be at. You don't know where you're going to be at. And on site me on site. Don't just throw that out there. Just willy nilly. Like you about that life anywhere you go. Like no. Because people say stuff online and just be like. You're not about that life. So. um, She she didn't realize who I was. So I'm like what's up. What's up? He grabs me. And the lady. The lady. You know I. I. I went blank kind of you know and I'm like kind of saying stuff to her I'm not yelling really but I'm saying stuff to her like remember me remember we online arguing whatever it was a long time ago but I don't care like you talking about you gonna kill me on site what's up what's up what's up with you the lady like uh-uh uh-uh she start going on uh-uh uh-uh this none of this is going down mind you the girl not Monet not saying anything she's sitting in the chair she's looking at me like she kind of like looking at me like, yeah, if I touch her, she going to fight back type type of look. But she not going to provoke me type of thing, if y'all, if that makes sense. If y'all could picture that. And I'm just like, you know, I was coming towards her, but then Dana kind of holds me back. So I stick, you know, I stay where I was at. I didn't go no further. I did realize where I was at. Like, I could literally get locked up right now. Um, but just in that very second that moment i didn't care i'm like what's up what's up like what's up what's up you know what i'm saying all that doing all that and she's just looking at me like like girl <laughs> like girl calm the down so the lady like no nah. she said if you want this letter to be approved i advise you to sit down sit down like she was like you know granny mama you know like she got on my ass baby you sit down ooh, ooh, i'm trying to help you and i will not help you you will start a fight with this young lady in here i'm like Phew. i just hit one of them like yeah okay so i sit down i sit down i know i made her like i made the girl a little nervous like i made her because she was kind of like stumbling through her you know it just her adrenaline probably was rushing you know how that is like it was about to be altercation and it caught her ass off guard, right? So I let it go. Long story short, let it go. I heard you. I heard the lady. I'm like, I heard you. I heard you, you right. You right. They ain't like chill. Like, it's not even that serious. Oh, Monet still not saying anything. Fast forward, we leave from there. The lady hurry up. She's like, let me hurry up and get you out of here. She stamped my thing because I needed to take this paper to another location. Boom. We leave out of there and the car was towed. That was like one of the, like, that day was really bad for both of us. Like, Dana and I together. Like, it, it was just a really awful day. So, but that day don't have nothing to do with the story time. But that's just what happened after. Like, after I just did all of that, carrying on, like, you what's up, what's up? And you say we're going side. I remember you told me you going to kill me, woo, and all that. Trying to intimidate the girl, girl car got towed the whole time the car was getting towed outside boom had a whole hell of a day literally that day right fast forward time went on um you know dana and i talked about it but it wasn't nothing to talk about like he know how i am at this point he know i'm a pop off like he know i'm going to i'm with the sh i'm with it like he know that so it, it wasn't really nothing to talk about i just i just try to hold people accountable it is what it is like you said what you said now you done caught me on the wrong day you know what i'm saying like you done caught me on the wrong day and i want it i want all the smoke like i'm ready to just take my anger out on somebody type of thing so fast forward forgot all about it you know i'm getting older I'm working, I'm doing all types, I'm stressing about other stuff. I don't have time for it, the drama and all that. I don't care about it. So fast forward, okay? We are now, I, let's go back. We gonna go back for just a second. Pro, when I had my son, I told y'all the story already, the situation that happened with me and Dana with his ex and stuff like that. Now. When that situation had went down and him and his ex, I mean, not him and his ex, his ex and I were kind of communicating, trying to figure out like 
we were just communicating with each other it was sick like sister wives type of situation right or whatever until i broke up with him and left him alone um but she would tell me stuff about monet and she like this girl monet she always she's like when we was together she always around she always just on his top boo 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 but he never gave her the time of day, but he, she don't like her, whatever, right? We he had one of them conversations, why, it's about Monet. So that that kind of was in the back of my mind. Mind you, that was years later after she done said what she said online. So it kind of put stuff into perspective for me um, that this was somebody that really liked him, I guess. Um, but he, I don't know if he just, I, I really don't know. So I'm not gonna, cause this is old. We pass all of this y'all. We, we don't even care about it. I'm just telling y'all about it, um, to give y'all a little story time. But, um, I, I just looking at the girl, it, I, I, I really believe that he didn't really like her like that. You know what I mean? Um, you know Dana's not the guy he's not the type of guy that just date any and everybody he's never been that way he doesn't date any and everybody he don't um, but so yeah it, it. I don't think he liked her like that but they just knew each other from school they was cool whatever um, whatever so that was in the back of my head as well so anyway fast forward ran into Monet again okay ran into her again at like this little this little I would say like a little get together okay we was at this little get together and she is friends of a friend like Baltimore is really small it really is I swear everybody know everybody right so she's friends with a mutual friend at the time because i'm not cool with that person like i don't talk to that person anymore hang out with that person anymore but she you know mutual friends so i'm at this little gathering it was like a little cookout situation or whatever and she's there she was there before i came she was there um i didn't say like i didn't i didn't come at her or nothing this time i didn't come at her um but we were introduced to each other as though we didn't know each other we were introduced and she had her dude there i'm gonna name him um i'm gonna name him cookie monster <laughs> i'm gonna name him cookie monster now this is the part where i'm telling y'all please please do not judge me for this but being the, the the person that I am, like I, I know that I'm, you know, cute, right? I'm cute in my own way. Honestly, it's mainly, to me, I really feel like it's personality over looks when it comes to like people liking me. Like if you spend a little while time with me, like you talk to me on a daily day, a day to day basis, or you spend time with me, you just, you see me in my rare form and stuff like that. People who tend to fall in love or really like me just as a, you know, just for me, my personality and just who I am, right? But yeah, I I dress it up. You feel me? I dress all of this up and when I put it on, I look, you know, I look good, right? So I was there looking good, looking like a snuzzack, and uh her dude was there with her. So we was introduced as though we didn't know each other. But she said hi, I said hi. Like, as though, you know, just hey, you know, a little phony. Hey, because I know her, but I don't care to meet her. But okay, whatever. Um, but I left it at that. Nothing else was said. I didn't say, oh, I already know her already because of X, Y, Z. I didn't tell the friend at the time that. I didn't say all of that. And she didn't say anything e neither. Introduce, you know, introduce to her, her dude or whatever, Cookie Monster. I say hey to him, whatever. So do y'all know? I'm in where was I was in the basement um the way that this thing was set up it was like the basement and then the way they had like a a, a their patio came from out the basement if that makes sense it was like a weird house but then the patio to the backyard but it was from the basement level but the basement level was like really literally you go down two steps and you in the basement type of thing so it wasn't like underground type of basement, if that makes sense. So it was like one of those tall story houses. Anyway, I 
go out um i mean i go into the basement because that's where all the like quote unquote the bar it was like a table with like did the alcohol and stuff like that at some point when i was there because i showed up alone um i didn't bring anybody with me because you know my friend just invited me to this little cookout little thing so i just go you know i'm i'm always that i'm still that type of girl like if you invite me somewhere i'm gonna show up alone not because i can't bring nobody with me sometimes i'd be wanting to bring people with me but i just feel like if you invite me i'm gonna come i don't need to bring people with me type of thing at every situation so i was there alone and i go into the basement it's just me everybody outside you know it was a lot of people there so um it was a good time it was a good time though overall it was a good time that day so i go i'm fixing me a little drinky drink cookie monster comes in right he comes in without monet and he talking to me and getting a vibe that he was flirting with me right I'm not, i know this motherfucker not flirting with me and mind y'all at this time i was single again so you know um i told y'all dana and i we were together on and off on and off for a long time um and every time we broke up you know i dated other people i dated other people he dated other people um but i've never been in like a full-blown relationship with anybody else i just dated people like when I was single, I was single. Okay, bitch, I was dating. Um, I, I know that's a lie. I got into one situation, and y'all know about that story time. But yeah, uh, I just was dating, you know. But he come in, Cookie Monster come in, and I was getting a vibe that he was flirting with me, like just based off like what he was talking about. But I didn't, I didn't say anything. I'm just making my little drink and I'm listening to him. And what dawned on me was, I know how I'm going to get this girl back. Why I had to get her back, I don't know. Supposedly I had let it go. I didn't care, like, because I wasn't thinking about her. I didn't care about Monet, I wasn't thinking about her. But I just felt like she was always, it just seemed like she was always around. Like, like I said, little situations just over time she will pop up or like there's been a time or two where you know they have had a conversation i'm talking about monet and dana just on social media um and it was innocent but it was just like still like why do you feel like i, I just didn't like it i didn't like the whole i don't know tell me how y'all would feel about what i'm talking about like i don't know I don't know what it was, but in that moment when I felt like Cookie Monster was flirting with me, I said to myself, I'm a flirt back with him. I don't like the dude. I didn't think he was attractive. I didn't, I didn't care for him at all. But I'm a flirt back with him because first of all, your man ain't nothing. He a piece of shit. Why he in here flirt with me? Number one, this is your man. Uh, why he ain't flirt with me and like what's going on so i'm flirting back right he proceeds to ask me for my phone number i give him my phone number right that party was over with he like you know just um uh he was just like complimenting me like you beautiful um it dirty my it just dirty saying a little stuff like you know him and monet they they on bad terms. You know how niggas be lying. They on bad terms right now. And, and they just showed up here. He, Which may be true. I don't know. Because I don't know the girl. It might have been true what he was saying. He was just like, yeah, we showed up here together. Um, but this is like our first time hanging back out together since for a while. Like we had broke up, whatever. And that might be true. Because like I said, I did the same. I've been doing that with... I have not been. But I have done it with... Um, Dana. Dana's the only guy that I have done that with. Like, as far as like, you know, we'll break up, get back together, break up, get back together. We never was really done with each other type of thing. We will still mess around in between our breakups, you know, stuff like that. Like he has always just been that one that's just been around. And um, so it could have been a situation like that with them, but I didn't care. I was just like, whatever, yeah, take my number down, whatever. We can probably hang out. I'm cool, like whatever. And mind y'all, prior to like I said, it was a good cookout it, despite the fact that monet was there and we got introduced and nobody really knew that we had like a little beef thing going on in the past 
but we all like we were playing games and we all was like doing things together so I kind of laughed with Cookie Monster a few you know what I'm saying we all even her like we all like kind of laughed with each other and stuff like that and me just being young petty and dumb I'm just like I'm just going I'm going to see let me let me see how far I can take this type of thing so time went by fast forward but he texts me and we texted for a little bit you know like literally like a little bit so then <laughs> Do not, do not, do, do not judge me, baby. I would never do this again. I wouldn't want nobody doing this to me. But uh, I invited him over. I invited him over. And you know what he did for me? <laughs> and you know what happened? It happened, okay? Um... The cookie monster went to work, if you get what I'm saying. And that was it. As soon as he did that, that was it. Right? That was it. Mind y'all, I screenshot everything. Like, I screenshot, like, our conversations Um, after that. Like, so basically, he came over. He did some cookie monster shit. That's all I can say. Um, and then I kicked him out. He didn't even understand like what he did wrong. I did something wrong with what was going on. I'm like, no, you just gotta go, like, whatever. Cause I had a whole plan. Like, you you just gotta go. Yeah, and I let him do that. I sure did. Stupid. Cause first of all, why, why, why? Don't know where he been at, don't know what she got, don't know, but I let him do that, right? So conversations after the fact, I live, I like kind of baited him into like saying how did it taste, stuff like that, so I could get it in messages. And then I screenshotted everything. And you know what I did? Yeah, I did. I sent it to her with his number, with all of that in it. I sent it to her and I said, I got you. That's all I texted her. I got you. I sent the messages and I said, I got you terrible terrible a terrible thing i did a terrible thing y'all and um yeah don't judge me i'm gonna keep saying it don't judge me because that's really a terrible thing to do but i did do that and uh i sent it to her and of course she was upset well how would you da 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 da, -da. i said because she's like over something old that's some old sister you childish y'all so my phone cut off for one two it's raining but um yeah so everything she said was very facts and true um i had no point in doing what i did i really didn't um but she was very upset and it turned into like a whole big old situation but this is going to be part one of this i will continue this story um that will be the next video it will be part two of this okay because some more stuff went down okay that's just how it started <laughs> yeah so i know how y'all go y'all gonna go and be in the comment section but just like be easy be easy okay because we here we here i love y'all and make sure you thumbs up this video i will post the second part when i get at least five let's say 500 likes okay Y'all can give me 500 likes. I get way more views than that. So just 500 likes. And that's when I will post the second part. Okay. All right. <laughs>